The president what? said, well, the president said that uh, he was going to make out personally badly and there's nothing in it for wealthy people. It's all a middle class miracle. Well, ju just take one example, Becky, uh, the alternative minimum tax. The one year that we had the president's uh, tax return, he made $58 million and paid $26 million in taxes. And everyone said that was good. He, he paid his fair share. Well, if we didn't have the alternative minimum tax, he would have paid $3 million in, in taxes, less than 6% on a, a, an average rate. So there's too much in it, uh, elimination of the estate tax that benefits 540 families but costs the taxpayers $54 billion. There's too much of that stuff in it. It's too weighted towards the top. Uh, so, and then you've got the second problem. They should be getting rid of a lot of the exemptions, but when you get rid of a lot of the exemptions, it makes it a loser for most middle class taxpayers in states like New York, California, Illinois, New Jersey, and I could go which, on and which on. Which deductions states are you talking about? The state deduction well, of, of income tax, state, but are you also talking about right, mortgage? If you, no, well, it's state deduction of income tax, yeah. number one. In those states, how can a Republican vote for it, no less a Democrat, mm. when you eliminate that state deduction, and it doesn't matter how much of a cut you're going to get, those folks are going to come so, out in New York and New Jersey and Illinois as losers. Governor, I understand what you're saying, because it, it probably will benefit uh, the president certain things, but th those, both of those issues, the estate tax and the AMT, for years, Republicans have been talking about ways of, of getting rid, you know, the, nobody liked the AMT and the way it worked, and, and, and estate taxes, philosophically, a lot of people have wanted to get rid of those, you get rid of that for a long time. So now we got Trump gets elected, suddenly Republicans are supposed to abandon both of those those things they've been wanting to do for a long time just because it will benefit him? That that doesn't make sense either. He no, happens no, to be sitting in the seat where it's going to happen and he might benefit, but these are long-standing Republican uh, sort of goals. Right, and I'm just bit. using, no, I'm I using the president as an example. Obviously, I, I, it would I benefit think, but, thousands and thousands of rich people. Right, but, but also But on the estate the, tax, it benefits 540 families. Right. That's the only people who would benefit by the elimination of the estate tax. But Democrats would normally be mad if, if the high end, like the, that 39.6 or something, they, we see there might be a surcharge on high earners. So that's normally where, where you would say this is going to benefit the rich. Now, the Democrats are going to find, you know, they're going to say, well, pass-throughs are, uh, are, are going to benefit the rich, or because it benefits corporations. The CEOs are going to, they're rich, and they're going to benefit. But Joe, you're not you doing know, anything, you you're, know, not cutting the high, you're not cutting the, the tax rate only down to 35 and taking away deductions. People in the high uh, you, brackets are going to pay more, most likely. You know the devil's in the details. The right, devil's we in don't the know details. Yeah. Let's, see, let's see what uh, exemptions they're cutting out. Let's see. Uh, what's what's in, what's not in. Uh, first of all, I think it's premature to make a judgment on it. Can there be Democratic votes? Absolutely. But I think they're going to lose a lot of Republicans in the, in the states where the middle class people are going to come out as losers. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.